ever wanted to visit China without a visa? Let's talk. So I have found that China is an amazing place to live, but it is also an amazing place to travel to. Now some people have been put off by the visa process in the past, but now with recent policy changes, you can visit China without a visa, which is fantastic for the touring traveller. So like I said, Sometimes people avoid visiting China because of the hassle of getting a visa. With many other countries in Asia, you can get a visa as you land in the airport or you can apply for a visa online before you arrive. With the Chinese visa, often you'll have to apply for it in your home country, send off your passport, and even in some situations, go to the visa center for an interview. However, Things have changed, so those of you who want to visit China for a short stay are in luck. China has introduced a 72 and 144 hour visa free entry policy, which means you can visit China as your stopover on your next trip visa free. Now there are some transit rules when you come and use the new policy but here are some ideas that I would suggest that you do whilst you visit China. So one thing that is really exciting is that with the 144 visa free policy you can now come and visit Tianjin. So Tianjin is where I live, I absolutely love it here. You can go to see the Great Wall and it's a really quiet area of the Great Wall that not lots of tourists go to but also Tianjin has its own attractions and places to visit as well. On that same 100 144 hour policy you can also fly into Shanghai and visit around Hongzhou and Nanjing on the same visa and fly out of a different place if you want to so it means you can explore more of central China as well. So what are the rules if you want to come into China without a visa? Number one you must have a valid passport. Number two, you must have an onward ticket and that can't be going back to your home country. So for example, you can't fly from the UK to Beijing and then be flying back to the UK. It has to be moving onwards. So you could fly from the UK to China to South Korea because it's an onward flight. However, you also need to make sure that you have a visa for your next destination as well. And last but not least, number three, you must fully complete the arrival and departure cards that you will receive at immigration when you come into China. So there you have it. That is how you can visit this amazing country without a visa. I would highly recommend anyone that is traveling to Asia to try and make a stopover in China. It is truly incredible. Please do, because honestly, it is amazing. I am a little bit biased, but it is amazing. Anyway, that's it for me for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Until next time, bye. I, I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again.